So let's talk about that a little bit more, Rob. How, how do you make sure that everybody, whether they're in Pennsylvania or China or Edmonton, gets what Ideal Products wants? <laughs> I'm not sure we have an answer to that, but um, I, 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 we're certainly functional uh, in, in that. And, and, the, and, and I think uh, really what it comes down to is I believe that culture is driven by alignment to values. That's why I was, when we talked the first time, very passionate about our values. And so what we do as a company is we don't just talk values as words. They're not up on the wall. I will not allow them to be on the wall in any of the buildings because words on the wall mean nothing. So what we do is we teach what is the meaning of our value. So what is the essence of the values that we hold as a group, as a culture, as a group of people? And uh, so we actually do core value awareness uh, twice a week in every company, um, and every employee is engaged in it. It's 15 minutes. Uh, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays here. Pennsylvania, they, they switch it up. But it's really where we all have the ability or the opportunity uh, as a company for everybody to really understand what does the meaning of the value, um, what really is, is the identification of the value. What, what I mean by that is, is I sh we, we try and get our people to recognize when values happen in the, in the work environment or in the home environment, and they're really promoted to give examples uh, when their peers or their coworkers do follow or misalign to a value. And then really what happens is over time, we, we've noticed that the, the, the um, people start to align to the value, which actually becomes less evident that they're part of the, or that, that, that they're searching for the value. And once, uh, really what, what I'm getting at is once the values are so well aligned, that provides the foundation to lead people to that brighter future. And so the alignment to the values is the start of it. After that, then we can bring the top leaders of each different country or each different you know, manufacturing operation and, and communicate with them. And then it filters down and it becomes very, very aligned and very, very real for everyone. Right. Go ahead. Can I add something to that? Um, so what we do is, is similar, and we've also um, really looked at what the values mean in everyday business. So we start from the hiring process, because we can train skills, and we have to train skills when we bring people in, because there's not that many resources available in the translation industry and from the consultants and the partners that we work with in Alpha Global Experts, helping businesses align, we work with partners all over the world. So it's, we look, at, look for the alignment in the values as we're having that first initial conversation. Um, the other thing I found that when those values are aligned, like Rob described, it, it really acts as an immune system. And people either call each other out um, and in, in a good way, but people who don't fit the culture you'll see it very quickly, and they will either leave or you can make a decision very quickly. And we've all heard that saying, um, hire slowly, fire quickly. Um, it really kind of creates more alignment. It, it saves cost on training and, and, and hiring to have a really strong culture in place that's communicated. And for us, we make it part of our decision process. So um, because we're all over the world in virtual offices, people have to individually be able to make decisions in line with our company values all of the time because they're in a different time zone and they just have to go for it. So we have four questions and the one is, does it benefit the client? Does it benefit Alpha, either Alpha Global Experts or Alpha Translations? Um, is it in line with our mission, vision and values? And are you willing to take responsibility? And if our mission, vision and values aren't clear and there's decisions that are made that don't fit, we can address it right away. So it's a very integral cart, uh, part of our culture because we, we work remotely with virtual offices. And Mark, you have a similar situation. Yeah, I, well, and, and these are two fantastic answers here. Um, for us, I guess uh, what we've found is, is our international partners they really do share our same values and our same culture. And, and uh, in some ways, I mean, you could transplant the organizations and, and you have very similar ideals. And, and, uh, and two of ours are our community and collaboration and integrity of solutions. And uh, so we look, seek that out in our international partners. And those that don't fit, they, they just don't last very long as a, as a partner. It's just it, they self-select out in some ways. So, so um, we don't have quite such a, a uh, 
program is yours, Rob. That sounds good. <laughs> but uh, but uh, anyway, it, uh, but that's how we do it.